Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Whether you are here in person or online, I am so delighted to gather together today to worship God in the beauty of holiness, to hear God's word, to meet God at the table, to be nourished and fed, to go out into the world to love and serve. I'm Father Ryan. I have the joy of being your priest here at Christ Episcopal Church. And again, welcome, welcome. Why don't we take a moment now to turn to our neighbors and just to let them know that we're glad to see them at church today. I am glad that you are at church today. God loves you. I love you. this morning. Brother Mike is a Dominican brother. That's right. We have Dominican brothers and we have Franciscans. We have monastic orders in the Episcopal Church. Um, people who are living faithful religious calls and they bless our church. They bless the Episcopal Church. And Brother Mike, we are blessed by your presence with us this morning. Thank you so much. He came from Holy Cross and Poplar Bluff uh, to be with us. So I give thanks. And so I'm getting ready to go on three weeks vacation. We've been going strong for five months. A lot has happened. God is so good. The Holy Spirit has been moving in this church. God's doing a new thing. And as we know, Jesus took time away to rest, to recharge, to go back out there to love and serve. So I'm excited to take three weeks off to rest and be with my family. But I'll miss you all. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I'll be back after three weeks, and we'll continue the work of ministry together. And so, for the next three Sundays, we'll have morning prayer, which I know many of you are familiar with the morning prayer liturgy. So it's going to be an opportunity to come back into the tradition, to worship a new way for three weeks. And then on July the 14th, and by the way, if you forget any of this, no worries. I'll put it in the email. Um, on July the 14th, we will have our renewal of ministry service. And so Bishop Dion is going to come back at 4 o'clock, and we're going to have a special service. I know I've been with you all for a while, but this is an opportunity for us to celebrate our new ministry together in a formal way. And then we will have a delicious potluck uh, reception afterwards with delicious hors d'oeuvres and biblically themed cocktails and mocktails. So you won't want to miss this. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's a fun way to celebrate that we're on this new journey together. Uh, God loves you and I love you. Any other announce announcements? All right. Well, hearing none, my friends, let us worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of the Lord.
blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God. are open, all, all desires desire known, and, and from, from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that, that we may perfectly love you, and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us glorify the Holy One as we sing. Hold the church in your steadfast faith and love, that through your grace we may proclaim your truth with boldness and minister your justice with compassion. For the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. The first reading is from Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will take a sprig from the lofty top of a cedar. I will set it out. I will break off a tender one from the topmost of its young twigs. I myself will plant it on a high and lofty mountain. On the mountain height of Israel, I will plant it in order that it may produce boughs and bear, bear fruit and become a noble cedar. Under it, every kind of bird shall live. In the shade of its branches will nest winged creatures of every kind. All the trees of the field shall know that I... The green tree and make the dry tree flourish. I, the Lord, have spoken. I will accomplish it. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> the psalm is Psalm 92, and we'll recite it responsively, breaking at the asterisk. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord. And, and to sing, sing praises, praises to your name, O oh Most God. High, to tell of your loving kindness early in the morning, and of your faithfulness in the night season, on the psaltery and on the lyre, and, and to the, the melody of, of the harp, for you have made me glad by your acts, O oh Lord, and, and I shout for joy because of the works of your hand. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree, and shall spread abroad like a cedar of Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall, shall flourish in the courts of our God. God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They, they shall, shall be green. The second reading is from 2 Corinthians. We are always confident, even though we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. 
for we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, we do have confidence, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So when we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please him. For all of us must appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each may receive recompense for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. For the love of Christ urges us on, because we are convinced that one has died for all, therefore all have died. And he died for all, so that those who live might live no longer for themselves, but for him who died and was raised for them. From now on, therefore, we regard no one from a human point of view, even though we once knew Christ from a human point of view. We know him no longer that way. So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. day, and the seed would sprout and grow, though he does not know how. The earth produces of itself, first the stock, then the head, then the full grain in the head. But when the grain is ripe, at once he goes in with his sickle, because the harvest has come. He also said, with what can we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable will we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, which, when sown upon the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet, when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make nests in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them, as they were able to hear it. He did not speak to them except in parables, but he explained everything in private to his disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ.
We'll give that a try. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. are the Anglican expression of Dominican spirituality, which means we preach what we do. That's the reason for our order. Uh, Father Ryan asked me to come over here today. Uh, I did a presentation.
kingdom of God starts tiny, like a mustard seed. Maybe not the answer the disciples were looking for. The kingdom of God grows like a mustard plant. At this point, the disciples are probably scratching their heads. And the kingdom of God spreads like a mustard plant. The kingdom of God crosses borders, both real and imagined. It grows right past barriers, even the ones we might try to put in the way. We are really good at putting up barriers. Sometimes we're not so good about tearing them down. But the kingdom goes everywhere, with or without us. The kingdom of God spreads without regard to what you or I want it to do. It spreads to take in everyone. It spreads to include places and people that we may feel don't belong. In our passage from Ezekiel today, we read another plant metaphor, this one a cedar tree. Under it, every kind of bird will live. In the shade of its branches will nest winged creatures of every kind. There are those birds nesting under the shade again. But in Ezekiel, it's winged creatures of every kind. And I don't believe Ezekiel is really talking about birds. I think when Ezekiel says every kind, he's speaking about every kind of people. To the prophet, that would have meant both Israelite and Gentile. Everyone can find rest under the shade of God's tree. For us, I believe it means everyone. Back when I was a kid, my father was a Navy officer. When a decision had to be made for which he didn't have authority, he would say, that's above my pay grade. And if you were in the service, you would recognize that statement. Quite simply put, deciding who is in and out of the kingdom of God is above my pay grade. Sorry, but it's above Father Ryan's pay grade. It's above Bishop Dion's pay grade. It's above presiding Bishop Curry's pay grade. Deciding where the kingdom of God will spread is above our pay grade. We don't, don't get to decide that the alcoholic next door or the sex worker hanging around in that bar or the thief or the panhandler on the street isn't fit for the kingdom. But we can make the ground fertile for the mustard seed by loving them, by accepting them, by making it easier for the kingdom to take root in their hearts. Invasive species are really, really hard to kill off. Just ask any farmer in South Central Missouri who had to try to eradicate the multiflora rose from their farmland. But in the case of the kingdom of God, we need to take a different tack. We need to help it invade the world. So instead of trying to decide who belongs and who doesn't, how about if we fertilize the soil to make it easier for the mustard seed to take root? Let's do some reverse pest control. Let's show everyone all the love and the joy and acceptance that we have found in Christ. Let's be mustard farmers. Amen. Amen.
turning to page 5 in our service leaflet, as we affirm our faith through the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe, we believe in, in one God. God. Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became for the church and for the world, saying, hear our prayer. <coughs> Nurturing God, gather us as the seeds of your mysterious life. Teach us to sense deep. Through Jesus Christ, who is your fullness with us. Amen. 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 Holy God, we give you thanks for the divine gift of fatherhood in all its diverse forms. And then you repeat for fathers, those living and those who have passed away. For the fathers who loved us and the fathers. children has been frustrated for all fathers who have lost children for all those who have fathered in any way for all those who have been our substitute fathers and we who have done so for those in need we pray all these things in the name of God whom your son our savior Jesus Christ called Abba Amen, Amen. Let us pray for the church and for the world, saying, Hear our prayer. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. We pray especially for our bishop, Dion, our priest, Ryan, and for all people in their vocation and ministry. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray that as the mustard seed grows into the largest of shrubs, so may God's rain grow in us. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Guide the people of this land and all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray that as we plant the seeds of the kingdom, we may sow generously from a full heart. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We give thanksgivings, especially for fathers today, time with family, friends, and those we love. And for what else are we thankful? For any visitors here today, we're thankful. Lord, in your mercy, oh. hear our prayer. 
Um, for those who are sick and in need, especially Mackenzie Bride, Dixie Berryman, Joan Thomas, Presiding Bishop Michael Curry, Dan Featherston, Robert Hadley, Paul Hammock, Sarah Zen, Ricky Livingston, Kathy and Dina Mayer, Randon Heiser Miller, Lisa, Mary Alice Regenhart, Aaron Opa, Pat Williams, Linda Vanderpool, Jessica Van Dusen, Suzanne, Lynn Thomas, Donna Wilson, Sandy, Heather and Julie, Pat, Paul, Daryl Finch, Chris, Randy's dad, Shelley Sprinkles, the Ray family, Diane C., uh, Ricky Livingston, and for whom else do we pray? Lord, in your mercy. The departed, especially Deb Brewer, whose life will celebrate Saturday, Randy Hargraves, Kelly McGowan, John McVeigh, Barbara Herbert, Kathy Peoples, Jonathan Pinson, Billy Miller, Nancy Watts, Carol Swanson, for whom else do we pray? Lord, in your mercy. Hear our, our prayer. prayer. Gracious God, we lift all the prayers on our hearts, those spoken, unspoken, and those still forming to you. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory now and forever. Amen. 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 Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. together. Most Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done. God have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. My friends, the peace of Christ be always with you. And also with you. Let us share a sign of God's peace. gladness present the offerings and oblations of our life and labor to the Lord.
prepared to give thanks to you, Almighty God, Creator of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who on the first day of the week overcame death and the grave, and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. to sin and become subject to evil and death, you, in your mercy, sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and maker of all. Jesus stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Savior Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, Jesus took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, Almighty God, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling Christ's death, resurrection, and ascension. We offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people, the body and blood of your Son the holy food and drink of new and unending life in Christ. Sanctify us also, that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through Jesus Christ, our Savior, by Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty God, now and forever. 
Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. gifts of God for the people of God. This is the Lord's table, and all are welcome. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. the bread of heaven. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Offering for the world, and as was indeed we now pray. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven.
bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Standing or kneeling as you are able, let us pray. The post communion prayer. Loving God. My friends, God loves you, and God will never lose you. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with those whom you love this day and always. Amen. Amen. Amen.